The U.S. National Hurricane Center has called Hurricane Milton the third fastest intensifying Atlantic storm on record. Scientists say that the climate change not only fueled more powerful storms, but it is doing so more quickly. Milton's rapid power surge appears to be the latest example of a worrying trend. We break down the reason behind the intensification. As storm winds organize into a hurricane, they pull energy from the heat in surface waters. The warmer the water, the more fuel for a hurricane. Now, thanks to climate change, water temperatures are rising. Now, in the last four decades, the ocean has absorbed about 90 percent of the warming from greenhouse gas emissions. This year has seen especially warm waters due to climate change, with 2024 on track to have the warmest average global air temperature on record. And according to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration data, Gulf of Mexico surface waters reached record high temperatures around 32 degrees Celsius during the past two summers. In mid-September, just weeks ahead of Milton's formation, the Gulf was the warmest for that time of the year on record. Well, unfortunately, we absolutely are. I mean, climate change is, is, is a threat multiplier because it increases the risks we face all around the world, in every part of the world, uh, because of rising temperatures. And most severely now we see in hurricanes because of this marine heat wave. We're boiling the ocean. And at this time of year, in this part, you know, in this part of the Western Hemisphere, the oceans are at their warmest now. And so that's why we see this rapid intensification of the storm. And that's why we see it pick up so much energy as it moves towards the coast. So what do we need to do? We need to accelerate through the energy transition. We also need to become more resilient. We're going to have to be able to withstand higher sea levels, stronger storm surge, higher winds. And we're going to have to really rethink uh, how we become resilient in the climate era. And we also need early warning systems. And I'm thankful that they've worked fairly well in this case so that people are able to move out of harm's way, but we need to do even more to improve our predictive capabilities uh, to manage in the climate era. A storm strength is defined by its sustained wind speed, with a Category 1 hurricane carrying wind speed of 119 to 153 kilometers per hour, while a dangerous Category 5 storm has wind speed of 252 kilometers per hour or higher. When a storm powers up quickly, scientists refer to, its, to it as a rapid intensification. When a storm rapidly intensifies, sustained wind speeds increase by at least 35 km, 56 kilometers per hour. That is within 24 hours, which can see a storm jump by two categories. Now on Monday, Milton became the third most rapidly intensifying Atlantic storm as its wind speeds increased by more than double the criteria for rapid intensification, shifting from a tropical storm to a Category 5 storm in less than a day. The Gulf's warm water along with air conditions made Milton's rapid intensification a near certainty. Now, based on data from 2001 to 2020, compared with 1971 to 1990, a study published in Scientific Reports last year suggested that storms originating in the Atlantic Ocean are now more than twice as likely to strengthen from Category 1 to Category 3 in just 36 hours. The study estimated that Atlantic storms overall are 29 percent more likely to undergo rapid intensification. At unusually warm waters, fuel storms wherever conditions are right.